This is Jenny and Kevin. Welcome to a special episode of Eat Baila Travel. In this vlog, we reconnect with Kevin's roots in Veracruz. Welcome to Cayuca, Veracruz, La Llave del Sureste, a key pinpoint when traveling down to the southeast states of Mexico, states such as Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. If you're ever traveling down southeast, there's a big chance that you might pass by here. For me, this is a very special place because this is where most of my mom's family lives. So as we take the opportunity to visit family and explore some of Acayuca and Enoluta, we're going to show you all the deliciousness and the charmness these little towns have to offer. Acayucan is a small city and Oluta is a small town in the southern part of the state of Veracruz. And the culture here is a blend of indigenous customs from all over the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. The Isthmus of Tehuantepec crosses parts of the states of Veracruz, Oaxaca, and Chiapas. The Isthmus measures the shortest distance from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean. Technically, Acayucan and Oluta are not of the Isthmus, but it's so close that its food, music, and culture are influenced by it. We want to share with you some of this Isthmus culture the best way we know how to, through food. La Casa de las Tlayudas Las Tlayudas, not to be confused with the quesadilla. Originally from Oaxaca, these crunchy Tlayudas have more to fill up a big appetite. The Tlayudas around here consist of a large thin tortilla filled with carne cecina, chorizo, queso de hebra, lettuce, and black beans. Once it's prepared, it's laid over a Mexican rosewood charcoal to melt all the flavors together. Doesn't this look amazing? Just imagine how good it tastes. The tlayuda, which is typical food of Oaxaca and along the isthmus of Mexico. This one is carne cecina and chorizo, the essential part. I'm gonna try both. Okay, I'm gonna try both. Oh, crunchy. <laughs> we also recommend the garnachas. These fried tortillas topped with meat, salsa, and queso chiapaneco. They're so cute. Are not only cute, they are packed with flavor. Mm. We're at Don Jaime, and we're here not just for the tacos, but also because there's a really special drink that we wouldn't normalize order, and that is the chocomil. The chocolate milk here, it comes with two different kinds of liquor, rompope and jerez, and it also includes cinnamon, vanilla, and of course the milk along with the chocolate powder. We're about to get chocolate wasted. Mm, it's amazing, it's chocolatey, and it has a sweet taste. It doesn't taste like liquor at all, but it's so delicious. Come for the chocomil and stay for the tacos. This place had our favorite tacos al pastor in Acayuca. For some good coffee, we found two places we really enjoyed. Hotel Kinaku serves some delicious espresso, but you could also ask for the traditional lechero. This hotel was founded by a man of Totonaca heritage, and he named the Hotel Kinaku, which means heart, for its location in the heart of Acayucan. So if you're looking for a place to stay, this family-owned hotel offers clean and affordable rooms. The other is a Lebanese cafe that serves Middle Eastern desserts and coffee drinks. Acayucan is not a metropolitan city, so finding this place was a real treat. Not just because it was delicious, but because the owners have a really cool story to share. We love sharing local stories, so make sure to keep an eye out for this upcoming video. So let me tell you, it's been really fun to learn about Acayucan as an adult. I haven't been here in 15 years ever since I was a teenager visiting with my parents. Let me be honest with y'all. Jenny and I probably would have never visited here if I didn't have family here. But then we wouldn't have learned as much as we did about the pre-Hispanic cultures in Veracruz. Next to Acayucan is the town of Oluta, known as the birthplace of La Malinche. Welcome to Oluta, Veracruz.
La Malinche is arguably one of Mexico's most controversial historical figures. She was an indigenous woman who served as a translator for Hernán Cortés and has a reputation for being Mexico's most famous traitor, but some argue that she was misunderstood. So we reached out to a local ethnographer to help us learn more about her. Be sure to check out that video coming soon for some hot tea. Noluta, you might overhear locals speaking in Popoluca, Nahuatl, Totonaca, or Oluteco, some of the languages that are indigenous to the area. We're super grateful with our family in Acayucan and Oluta for showing us around and teaching us about the local culture. One of the first local delicacies they had us try was the popo. Popo is a foamy traditional drink from indigenous communities of southern Veracruz and northern Oaxaca. It's a pre-Hispanic drink that is made of cacao, rice, cinnamon, and ashkiote. <laughs> I'm like, You're just drinking bubbles. It's like a cold chocolate bubbly drink. It's cool. <laughs> the name of the drink popo comes from the Nahuatl word popokti, which means thing that foams. In Oluta, you'll only find popo on Sundays because it's such a long and tough process to make. Traditionally, indigenous communities like the Popoluca would only make this for big celebrations like weddings. Traditionally, the popo is accompanied by a tamal de masa. In northern Mexico, tamales are wrapped in corn husks, but in the Isthmus region, they use a variety of leaves. Personally, our favorite was the black bean tamal. The bowl you see is a jicara. It's a wooden shell that grows on the tree of the same name, and the jicara has been Mexico's pre-Hispanic bowl for drinking cacao for centuries. Oluta is famous for its memelas, and you'll see them everywhere, but we specifically like the memelas from Yadi. Memelas are originally from Oaxaca, but like we mentioned earlier, the proximity to the isthmus means there's lots of overlap in food and culture. So me trying these for the first time, I thought it just looked like a Mexican pizza. You've got a round base of tortilla with a layer of sauce, or salsa roja or verde you can pick, a layer of beans and queso de hebra topped with your choice of meat. In this case, we chose a memela with carne chinameca. If you like a good burger, you have to try one from El Molcajete. They're a new business, so they don't have a location just yet. So we got to go to their house for a burger. Okay, actually it's our cousin's house, but they make a bomb ass burger. And so they take orders from Facebook, so be sure to check out the description for their link. There are so many options for comfort food on a budget here, but one of our favorites was getting empanadas with Santos. Santos is the owner, and the restaurant has its own name, but everyone around here knows this place as Santos. These empanadas are fried and filled with queso de hebra. Yum. 50 empanadas de queso, 50 de res. We wanted to treat the entire family to an empanada night, so we ordered over 100 empanadas and another 100 tostadas and garnachas. They keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> And for dessert, some fried plantains with crema y queso. Okay, that was a lot of food. But before we conclude this video, we want to share an interesting fact with you. An interesting fact on Oluta is that because of its geographical location, you have migrants passing through from Central American countries like Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Panama. So there are actually over a hundred of these rest stops that are called Casa del Migrante. The Casa del Migrante in Oluta happens to offer a variety of social services for the migrants as they're passing through. Um, it gives them an opportunity to freshen up, wash up, um, these are social services in addition to medical assistance, legal advice, 
and many of the migrants who are housed in the building right behind me are here for just a short period of time before they go on their way. Oluta provides these services free to them as social services and in exchange the migrants will typically offer some sort of community service like street cleaning or other construction jobs in town. Thank you guys for joining us on this part of our journey in Acayucan and Oluta. If you like the video, please hit that like button and show us some love in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions about anything that you saw today. And make sure that you come back in the next couple weeks because we have some really cool things to share, local stories, culture, and even some recipes. Bueno, se cuidan, se vayan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.